Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are testing out some brand new lip products from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have the new Big Lip Plumpgasm lip gloss in the shade Fair to Medium. And I also have the new Kissing Lipstick in Pillow Talk Fair. And I also picked up the new liner in Pillow Talk Fair. These are brand new shades. So Charlotte Tilbury has now released some new products to her Pillow Talk line, and if you're new here, I love Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my absolute favorite brands, and I do tend to review every single thing that she releases. So of course these products were no exception. I did want to note she did re-release her Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighters as part of this collection. So I believe these came out maybe two years ago, and they were limited edition, but they were very well loved. There is a lighter and a deeper highlight. They have changed the packaging for this release. It's now more of a sparkly packaging, which is super pretty. I have mine in Romance Light, which is the lighter of the two highlights. So you can see that you do get four different highlighter shades in here. So you can use each individual shade. You can mix them all together. You can do whatever you want. I personally really like to stick between these two lighter shades, typically the white one, but I'm gonna mix the two of them today. And I just wanted to show you really, really quickly what this looks like because it's beautiful. So if you don't have this already and you missed out on it, now is definitely the time to pick it up. So you can see it's definitely a very, very blinding highlight. I would say it does have some micro glitters in here. It can be definitely on the more shimmery side, but it's still very, very beautiful. This is still one of my all-time favorite highlighter formulas, so if you were wanting this one and didn't get it the first time, now is definitely the time to grab it because it is still a favorite of mine after two years. It's wonderful. So first we will talk about the lip gloss. I will compare it to her other lip gloss formulas as well. And then we'll get into those lipsticks. So this is the new Pillow Talk Big Lip Plumpgasm Lip Gloss. This is available in two shades. I have mine in fair to medium. There's also a medium to deep, which is more of a berry shade. I was going to grab that one, but I figured I would definitely use this one a lot more. So this retails for 35 US dollars or 44 Canadian. This is available now on her website. So I will of course leave everything linked down below. So this is an ultra comfortable oil infused gloss with powerful fire and ice actives to give a boost of lasting hydration for silky smooth, fuller looking lips. The full bodied balmy texture is formulated without stickiness for instant glamorous shine with cayenne pepper extract to deliver instant heat and cooling agents for a long lasting chilling effect. The gloss reduces the look of lip lines and age signs instantly. And it also says that it is supposed to reduce that over time. The more you wear it, the more full your lips are going to look. We'll see. So this is made in Italy and has a 12 month shelf life. And here is the inner packaging. It's actually quite heavy. I think it looks really, really pretty. This is what it looks like. All that detailing. I love the quilting detail up here on the lid. And then the top just has the Charlotte Tilbury logo. So the packaging is stunning and you do get quite a nice size doe foot with this one. Let's put it on the lips. It actually smells really good. I'm already feeling the tingle. Okay, I'm already feeling the tingle. And I see what she means by it's like a fire and ice technology because it definitely felt like spicy and now it's starting to feel really cold. So I'm, I'm seeing that. There is definitely a really interesting tingle going on. I will say, as for the consistency, it really does feel like an oil. It's very, very thin. The shade looks beautiful. It's incredibly shiny, which I really like. I think this is super nice and it's absolutely not sticky, which I can definitely appreciate. I can't stand a sticky gloss, so I appreciate that. So let's compare this to some of the other lip gloss formulas that she has. So I'll also show you just a really quick swatch. This is what this shade looks like on its own. And she does have two other lip gloss formulas. So she does have the Jewel Lips formula and she has the Collagen Lip Bath. 
She did release a collagen lip bath and a pillow talk shade as well. I did not pick that one up because this isn't my favorite gloss formula. It is one of the more sticky glosses. So this one, actually, it's always kind of hard to get out of the tube. It comes with a cute little heart doe foot. And this is definitely a much thicker gloss. So you can probably see the difference there. It is definitely much thicker. It's stickier, so it does stick around a good amount of time, but it is sticky, which I don't personally like. So this isn't one I reach for a ton. The Jewel Lips formula is my favorite. It's not at all sticky. It's not the most long wearing, but it is very, very shiny and beautiful. And like I said, not at all sticky. And this has a very normal shape doe foot here. So for comparison, those are the three different formulas. We have the new plumping gloss, we have the collagen lip bath, and the jewel lips formula. One thing I do want to point out is that I really like the shape of the doe foot because it does come to a point here, so it's really nice to sort of outline that lip line. I really like that it has like an oil consistency, so it feels incredibly lightweight and it's not sticky. And it also does give a really beautiful glassy shine to the lips but it is a little bit on the painful side. I wouldn't say it's quite as intense as the new Duck Plump from NYX. It's definitely not as bad as the Too Faced Lip Injection at Extremes. Compared to their regular lip injection, it's about the same, maybe a little bit more painful. Yeah, it's definitely got a sting to it, so I, don't, I think if you don't like painful tingly glosses, definitely skip this one, but it is making my lips look really, really nice. All right, let me take this off and then we'll get into the new lipstick and liner. Let's get into the Pillow Talk Fair Shades. So I did pick up the lip sheet and the lipstick. She did do the lipstick in the Kissing Formula. I believe the Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Medium are in her Matte Revolution formula, whereas Pillow Talk Fair and Pillow Talk Intense are in the Kissing Formula. So let's take a look at the liner. So I think these are going to be a bit more of a baby pink. I've always been a fan of the regular Pillow Talk lipstick shade, but I was really excited to see a Pillow Talk Fair. Okay, so that shade looks really, really pretty. Here's what that looks like. Okay, so that looks beautiful. Let's put this on. Okay, so that is the lip liner all on its own. This looks really, really nice. I do think there is a bit of kind of like a blue sort of mauve undertone to it, which I don't mind at all. I do think this looks very, very pretty. Definitely going to be a little bit more on that baby pink side. Let's take a look at the lipstick. And of course, I'm most excited for the lipsticks. I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks so much. So it is just in her standard packaging and this looks beautiful. Let's try on the lipstick. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so there is the lipstick in Pillow Talk Fair. This is definitely more of a baby pink. I think definitely could be more of an acquired taste. It's absolutely my taste. I love this shade. I think it's so, so, so pretty. It's kind of reminding me of Icon Baby, but without the glitter particles. Interesting. I love this shade though. I think it's absolutely stunning. So just for reference, so we have the liner and the lipstick. Okay, so I think I will show you the liner shade compared to some of her other pinky liners, and then I'll do the same thing with the lipsticks. Okay, so here is the lip liner swatch beside the other pink liners I have from Charlotte. So at the very top, we have Pillow Talk Fair. Then we have Pillow Talk, Pink Venus, Icon Baby, Super Size Me, and 90s Pink. So there is a difference between some of the others. It's not as similar to Icon Baby as I thought. I find Icon Baby almost leans a little bit more toward that peachy side compared to Pillow Talk Fair. Pillow Talk Fair really kind of leans into that blue mauve pink, which I found a little bit surprising, but also I think it's very, very beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about her lipstick shades. So right here, I have Pillow Talk Fair. This shade right beside it is Icon Baby. So looking at the two, I don't know if it's coming off on camera. There's a slight difference. There's a slightly deeper tone to Icon Baby. But 
Pillow Talk Fair pretty much looks like Icon Baby without the shimmer particles. So if you hate those shimmer particles in Icon Baby, but you love the color, you might really, really like Pillow Talk Fair. Then I have regular Pillow Talk, I have Pillow Talk Medium, and then Famously Pink. And then over here I have Wedding Bells and Gracefully Pink. So the closest one is definitely Icon Baby. Again, I think if you like the Icon Baby lipstick but not the shimmer particles, then Pillow Talk Fair might be an amazing option. They do look very, very similar. I will say the liners don't look similar, but the liner and lipstick in Pillow Talk Fair aren't identical either. Like I said, the liner definitely leans a little deeper and a little bit more into those mauve tones than the lipstick does. The lipstick is more of a true baby pink, but it is still very, very pretty. I really love the lipstick shade. Of the three new products we tried today, my favorite is definitely the lipstick in Pillow Talk Fair. I think this is stunning. I absolutely love this shade. I can see this being such a go-to for me. And I love the liner because I just love her liners in general. I had to really scrub to get all of those liner swatches off my hand. And I think this shade is really pretty because it has more of that mauve undertone. I think it will go with a lot of other lipsticks that I have as well. With respect to the lip gloss, I think if you don't like a painful, stingy, plumping gloss, absolutely pass on this. I think the packaging is really, really pretty. I don't love the name of the product, the Plumpgasm. I don't love that, but it's not the first time she's used a name like that in her line. I do absolutely, like I said, love the packaging. I love the quilted design on the lid. I think it's super beautiful. It's definitely weighty. I think I forgot to mention that it smells really good. I can't figure out what it smells like. It's definitely sweet. It smells kind of like chocolate to me, but I think it smells really, really good, and I think that will definitely make me use it more. But if you don't like a painful, stingy gloss, do not get this. I love that it feels very lightweight, like an oil. I like that it's not at all sticky, and I love the glassy effect it gives to the lips. I can definitely see this being a very beautiful, very plumping gloss, and I think it does look beautiful on the lips. It's just, you do get that hot, cold sensation, but if you don't like that sting, definitely pass on this because that will, this will hurt a little bit. The other lip products I think are absolutely stunning. I love them and I will definitely be wearing them a lot more. Let me know down below if you are planning to pick up any of these. Let me know if you have any questions that I didn't quite answer. I love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I do upload new videos every single week and I review everything from Charlotte Tilbury. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you are into that. But that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.